so welcome to the course e8005 special electrical machines unit number one stepper motor single stack variable reluctance stepper motor so here we, we are going to see the uh, operation of the uh, single reluctance <coughs> variable uh, stepper motor its construction path so you can uh, see it from the diagram the variable reluctance stepper motor character is by the fact that here we are not using uh, permanent magnet okay. so here it is made up of uh, this construction is three phase via stepper motor with six uh, stator poles and four rotor poles the stator is made up of uh, silicon steel sampings with inward projected uh, even or odd numbers of poles or teeth each and every stator poles carries a field coil and exit or an excitation coil in case of even number of poles, the excitation coils of opposite poles are connected in series. The two coils are connected such that their MMF gets added. The combi combination of the two coils is known as, we call it as phase winding. Okay. When it comes to the uh, electrical connection of the VR stepper motor, here the coil A and A dash are connected in series to form a phase winding. This phase winding is connected to a uh, DC source commonly. So this uh, is connected to the DC source through a switch called S1. Similarly, B and B dash and C and C dash are connected in the same manner using the switches S2 and S3 respectively. So totally the motor has three phases A, B and C. So when it comes to the uh, principles of operation of VR stepper motor, so here we have uh, three different modes of operation mode on uh, it, is, it, it is the uh, phase on half step so it works on the principles of variable reluctance so here you can able to see the diagram of uh, different rotor rot rotations mode on one phase on or full step operation so the mode on is called as full step operation so in this mode of operation the stepper motor one phase is energized at a time if current is applied to the coils of his a dash a dash is excited if it is so uh, the coil is uh, operated so if the current is applied to the coil b dash b dash will be excited okay so this excitation runs uh, to align the axis of phase a okay so magnetic reluctance is minimized and the state provides a rest or equilibrium position to the rotor and the rotor cannot move until phase A is energized. Next phase B is energized by turning on the semiconductor switch S2 and phase A dash is de-energized by turning of the SN switch. In the rotor poles 1, 3, 2, 4 experience torque in opposite direction when the rotor and stator teeth are out of alignment in the excited phase of the magnetic reluctance is lost. The torque experienced by 1 and 3 are in clockwise direction and that of 2 and 4 are in the counter clockwise direction. The latter is more than the former. So when it comes to the mode 2, that is 2 phase on mode. So in this uh, mode, 2 stator phases are excited simultaneously. When phases A and B are energized together, rotor experiences torque from both phases and comes to rest in the point midway between the two adjacent full step position. If B and C are excited, then the motor alignment A, A, A dash axis of the stator and one three axis of the rotor is equal to 45 degree. So that's all about the operation of the variable like the stepper motor. Thank you.